dress. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Growing Up Hip Hop Season 6, Episode 10. Let's just get into it. Y'all know to subscribe to my channel to become a whole Jay Bird, Jay Bird, dun 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 dun, and all that goodness and stuff. Y'all know to like the video, like the video, like the video, because it's just the right thing to do. You know, comment in the comment section. You can also, girl, comment in the comment section. You can also hit the little share button to share my video on your social media. Y'all know to relax, relate, release, you center yourself and everyone around you and always inhale and exhale because it's just nice to do. Okay. Follow me on social media at J underscore Lee's underscore corner. It is up there. It's in the description box below. It's everywhere. Which y'all know, like the video, subscribe, follow me, all that good stuff. Okay. We will be live this Sunday on my channel to have an interview with Kimmy from, um, Girl, from Love and Marriage Huntsville, that'll be at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. Make sure to be there. We are so excited to have Kimmy on the Ooh Ladies First panel. Okay, for an interview. Again, that is this Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern on my channel with us all, me, Bondi, Nisi, and Jamie. Okay, and then this Thursday's show is on, I believe it was on Nisi's channel. If I'm not, I think it's Nisi. So again, you know, support all of us, support all of us, okay? So let's get into this review, okay? We see Eric and JoJo and Cree meet up with Stevie J and Savannah, mainly to discuss, um, oh, did I not do these? I meant to do these um, with a different background, but it's fine. But anyway, they meet up to discuss the showcase that they are having because they want to show off some talent that they honestly would not. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. That's fine or whatever. But I'm looking like, what's Stevie J going to be there for? Now, Stevie J said, well, I guess JoJo said, or maybe Eric, somebody said that Stevie J could not be on the panel of judges. But he going to come there, I guess, to give them some, you know, some tips. I'm like, I mean, I guess he couldn't fit Jocelyn. But anyway, now, they have a Savannah hosted. And Stevie said, I've known for you to host a like club party, but not like no real showcase. I feel like we haven't seen... Oh, yeah, I'm in a onesie. It's cold in my apartment because you know, the air is on. So, again, y'all get this onesie love until I cut my air off in August. Um, Well, actually, probably in September. But let me leave that be. Um, but, yeah, I haven't seen Savannah do anything besides buy weed put her dog in coats, and she ride around with other people. I'm like, do she really do hosting? Are we sure? Because she's very young-minded. So I'm like, I mean, let it be. Now, JoJo brings up how Reverend Ron will not be participating because he not around with COVID. Okay, I'm not coming out in this weather, in this in this pandemic. I, mm -mm, no, no, no. So they want Pepper to be on it. They want Luke to be on it. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Luke or whatever, Creed Eddie. And then they want the brat. I'm like, how the brat? I'm like, the brat, I feel like they have a plethora of people that can kind of tap into the I'm gonna leave that be maybe because she's also on We TV, but whatever. Anyway, so Creed does see how well, I guess I can reach out to my you know, my, my Luke or whatever. She doesn't really want to because she does not want to make she doesn't want him to think like, well, she's only calling me because she needs my assistance or whatever. Or like she has to ask him for a favor. I get it. They not that cool right now. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. But they sat there and, ch and chatted. And with the chit and chatting of it all, they came up with the conclusion of, we're going to see what's going to happen. Um, now, when JoJo was saying how they want to have this, they want to have that, the fact that CJ kind of compared them wanting to have some of the stuff online to verses, I was like, that's not... That's not versus. They can they can stream it online. I'm like, online is a big thing right now. Like, versus does not have the, the the leeway to not allow anyone else to stream performances or showcases live. Shut up, Stevie. Anyway, they then discuss wanting Egypt to be on, to you know participate to perform or whatever. But how JoJo does not want sam to think with egypt performing that he can perform too so they don't want sam involved and you know of course they have the issues as well and steve like i think you wish sam should sit down and have a conversation this is my thing the conversation between jojo and sam shouldn't have anything to do with egypt 
because they didn't, Egypt and Sam are not a dynamic duo, okay? In any way, shape, form of the word dynamic or duo, okay? They are two individuals who be bumping uglies or whatever, and he is now corrupted her mind, and she loves him. That's what it is, and that's all that it is. But I'm like, they are not a duo, a group. Or a band. He just continuously has lashed on to her tits. Okay. He get his stuff out more than hers. Okay. And Jojo also brings up how not only does he want just Egypt and not Sam to be involved. He also wants again Pepper to be a judge. So again, he agreed with Stevie J. I got to go talk to Sam just to clear up some bullshit and whatnot. I'm looking like, look, Stevie, go ahead on. So <laughs> bad. Go ahead on. Now, Korea is like, it's, it's planning it, but Eric has to get a venue because he lives in Vegas. He's going to be in Vegas. And then, as you know, some of Joe, it's, it's a lot going on. But I'm like, we'll see if it go off without a hitch. Okay. Now, we then see Brianna and Lil Twist hanging out around each other. Okay. At a little, little, little picnic bench uh, at the little restaurant or whatever. Now, Brianna has started an incense company or incense business. She wanted to sell incense. She brings the pops because her grandfather, uh, who helped raise her, introduced her to different incense and scents and, and smells and all that stuff. So she wants to honor him. And so she has a little business or whatever. I'm like, okay, congratulations. Again, I want her to do something because they always showcase her doing nothing. So I feel like, okay, let's see what she does in life outside of sitting around with these people shit and chatting or whatever okay so she brings up how no was it her yeah she tells twist about how pepper and egypt and them are starting that rumor about sam not sam about sean cheating on tt and twist gonna say pepping them on that bullshit <laughs> they started because they ain't got nothing else to do and not only that they out here being naughty by nature i think not naughty by nature not adding a trust group but it's true I mean, the fact that Peppa and Egypt was really, they don't have nothing else going on in life like nothing else. So, again, why not start a rumor about TT? I ain't got nothing else going on. And that seems to be what happened. But the whole, you know, they live in naughty by nature. I say he's so stupid. Anyway, Brandon then brings up, you know, Boogie. Okay, Boogie, you know, uh, think I got a drinking problem. Boogie want to talk to me, whatever. Boogie on some bullshit. Boogie make me mad. And the fact that she brings up how she doesn't like the fact that Boogie thinks she has a drinking problem. I'm like, but you do. Brianna is very much so a functioning alcoholic. Okay, let's make that clear. Um, and that's just what it is and whatnot. Now, when Twist also brings up that, oh, yeah, you know, he came and talked to me, too. Came and told me how he was really concerned about you, how he was really worried about you, whatever. He, he really is concerned about you and your drinking and your addicts or whatever. But he also told us in the confessional that he thinks JoJo, not JoJo, girl, fix it. He thinks uh, Boogie needs to dismount his business or whatever because he doesn't think that she has a drinking issue. He thinks, you know, she's fine, fine, fine. I'm like, that's because Twist do drugs and stuff. I think people who drink or smoke or whatever, they sometimes don't see issue with other folks who, who overuse stuff too. And I think some people look at, oh, I'm not an alcoholic. It's like if you drink every day and you're consistently in some kind of intoxicated, you know, state, that's the alcoholic. You may not be a, a stealing alcoholic. You may not be a knockdown, fall and pass it out one. But if you are drinking every day, and you're making excuses to why you drink every day. And so you end up being intoxicated in some kind of way every day. That's. If it paused, I'm sorry, y'all. It's just, girl, it makes me mad. Um, I don't know why, because my signal is fine. Stupid, strange. And I hope it does not do that tomorrow for Kimmy. <sighs> Lord, please. Um, anyway, you know, twist like I think it ain't nothing to be worried about, whatever, leave it be. Um, but again, she's still mad because he be saying stuff. I'm looking like, well, you be drinking or whatever. Anyway. But she's like, I'm going to meet up with Boogie. I'm going to talk to Boogie, whatever. And when I meet with him, I'm going to sit in his face and make a drink and drink. I'm going to be like, why would you do that? Why you want to? It's like, okay, so you you feel like he think you have an issue. So let me make him feel that even more. I'm like, see, she on bullshit. She's on complete bullshit. But y'all know Brianna is bad shit crazy. So we're going to leave that be and whatnot, okay? Let's get on to Egypt and Pepper. Egypt and Pepper are at the bridal store trying on dresses. 
Um, because you know, Egypt is supposed to be in there. I'm looking like, girl, does she need that? No, she do not. Now, of course, while they're there, they bring up TT. I feel like Egypt of Pep can never have a conversation that does not include TT. Um, because what else would they have to discuss? Nothing. Anyway, they bring up how you know up well, not everyone knows this rumor that TT uh fiance was cheating on her. Well, yes, because y'all told people. Y'all brought it to the forefront. Oh, you know, everyone knows now. Of course. Yeah, they do. Anyway, now, Egypt makes it seem like, you know, well, when I talk to my dad or whatever, he felt really bad about the, you know, how we are. I'm like, no, 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 no. Tretch didn't feel bad. Like, oh, it's so sad that, you know, TT, you know, can't, you know, be better to Egypt. His thing was, it's a whole fucked up situation. And you need to fix it, Egypt, okay? He did not, he, he, I don't like how she made it seem like he was on her side. I think he was on the side of the family to where y'all beefing over bullshit. And you need to be growner, than, not growner, more grown, more like an adult or whatever, and go talk to her. But I'm my girl, back. So, Peppa then say that Egypt needs more support now because of how TT treated her. I'm looking like, the fuck? Egypt is a grown, manipulated ass lady with that damn boyfriend or fiance of Samantha, whatever, she don't need more support. She, you know what? She need better parents. Okay? That's what she need. She need better parents or whatever. Now, I get sometimes you do not want to force your kids to not be with somebody because it pushes them away. But I'm like, Sam is the worst kind of girl. I'm going to leave that be. But she trying on some dresses. Boom. Um, The dress is beautiful. I'll say that. What I will say is, she don't need to be getting married, okay? And I feel like, look, <sighs> I was watching Jamie review and Jamie said that she looked like a boy in a dress, and it made me giggle. Um, I feel like hair length does not make anyone male or female, no. But I will say, Egypt is gorgeous. She is. However, at the same time, the haircut she has and her amazing bone structure, okay, and her uh, her slim figure. It does. It it. I'm. I don't want to be offensive, but I do feel like Sam has encouraged T. Not T. T. Has encouraged Edith to change her look because now she does look more like a boy. Like there's no teeth, no shade. You know, makeup is still cute, but she do look like a boy in a dress. Um, and that's fine. Because I see, I see, I see a lot of, um, I just girl. We know there are a lot of women who have shortcuts, um, who are bald, and they look amazing. Okay, they look amazing. But for me, something about Egypt just looks different. She looks like less of herself uh, with no hair, and I, I, I just I don't know how else to. To say that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm happy she's embracing shortcut, but it it, it she kind of does look like a boy in a dress, and I and I really I really do not mean no disrespect. I just really hope her cutting her hair like that was really her decision and not Sam's. But I'm gonna leave that be. Anyway, we go on to JoJo meeting up with Eric and Samantha. Okay, so they all meet up at whatever little location where they want to have this uh, showcase at. Because they had to talk, okay? Now, Sam, in his confession, say how, you know, Trish told me how, you know, my our family and, 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 and the uh, the Simmons family are, you know, we're all family, whatever. And so, because he told me what I'm supposed to do, I'm going to talk to JoJo. Uh, but I feel like he, she, you know, me, each of our package deal or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We come together. And it's a shame that JoJo did not want both of us to shine at this showcase. Now, what's sad is... You are so ego stricken in which within yourself, you don't want her to shine without you. How can you not be like, okay, it's time for her to shine? You should not feel like y'all both have to shine at the same time. It ain't about your time. And that's the fucked up part, okay? Now, JoJo, his confession, JoJo say, Sam can't either apologize or get slapped. I'm like, why is everybody slapping people? Why y'all keep wanting to slap each other? What's why? Don't do that. Don't don't do that. Now, in the scene, they talking about what everyone's saying, and Sam brings up how like the this issue is. I question the time. I just the time of it all seems weird. You know, now that me and Dodo has an issue, 
um, now he wants Egypt to perform, but not me too. And I'm looking like, but it ain't about you. And JoJo said, at the end of the day, we were always hearing your music. It was never about Egypt. Even if it was about her, you was there with her getting shot. She has not had a chance to shine her own. And, you know, your music cool. cool. I have no issue with, with your music. But my thing is, I have always wanted to help her shine. You know what I'm saying? He like, she's the legacy of Pep and Tretch. You know what I'm saying? And that had nothing to do with you. I want to help Egypt. Okay? That's it. That's it. He also said, you know what I'm saying? They family. You know what I'm saying? You not in they family yet. Yes, you marry their daughter soon. And, and I respect that, but I'm not going to ask nobody for permission to, 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 to have her on here. And also, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. And I was like, I respect what JoJo's saying. He's not even trying to hoard or to play Sam. He like, this has nothing to do with you. Nothing. So what you pissed off for? He then wanted to bring up how what you said on live was some bullshit. He was saying, you Go on your social media talking about me was complete bullshit. You have my number. You know what I'm saying you started an issue when it did not need to be. You could have just called me. Okay. Now could they have both called each other? Yes. But Sam's initial issue of being upset because JoJo said if it comes between me having a pick between uh, 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 Sam and Twist, I got to pick Twist because I've known him for longer. And he's like, my brother, I don't see why Sam had an issue with that and then went online saying shit. Now, Jojo could have easily called him and checked him. True. And he didn't. But again, whatever. Um, Jojo, of course, talks a little bit rah, 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 getting a little bit loud or whatever. And Sam, like, you know, calm down. He said, I don't like rage boys. Like, we, we, uh, I'm like, who cares? I don't care because I fight. You know, I fight. I'm like, Sam, no one's scared of you. But Sam talks with a vibrato of, I'm going to beat your ass. And I'm not saying he might not do that, but no one gives a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, no one cares. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be an altercation. Okay, well, it'll be an altercation, okay? Either you or you and JoJo both built. Y'all both built like skeletons. Let's let's be honest, okay? You're both built like skeletons, okay? So no one's like, oh, my God, who going to win? We don't care about either one of y'all winning the fight. But to me, Sam be trying to boss up for no reason. Bro, you are not in hip-hop. You did not grow up in hip hop. You are really trying to connect yourself based on who you fucking, and that's the part that's aggravating. But I'm gonna leave that be. And Joe's like, I'm not lowering my voice. I'm saying, I'm saying, fuck. And you owe me an apology. And Sam say, I apologize, okay, for speaking on you negatively online or whatever. My bad for that. So he does his apology, and now they supposed to squash the beef for now. And when JoJo brings up how he also wants to talk to Pepper. To get her to um, be a judge on the thing, Sam then said, "You know what? I can do that for you because then I'm the one that can convince her to do. It. I'll tell her I talk to you, whatever, and how this went and whatnot." I'm saying, "I'm like, nigga, Peppa don't need you. You are not her. Sp-. He really talked as if he t- is he pimping them. He talked like a pimp." You gonna tell someone that you can get them pepper as if you work girl. I can't. Sam was delusional, okay? He's delusional, he's bad shit crazy, and I don't like okay. I don't like Sam at all. Okay, I don't like his knees, I don't like his head, I don't like his sunglasses, I don't like his jersey, I don't like his shoes, I don't like Sam. Okay, point blank, period. Anyway, lastly, we have Boogie and uh Boogie and Savannah go talk to Brianna. Now, Brianna sat there and made a whole drink in that man's face. And the reason that aggravated me was because you should never sit and make a drink in front of somebody who's a recovering addict because that can trigger them. And I felt like him sitting her, sitting there, watch her make it. He could go and do drugs after this because you have now put him in the mask. Like, oh, that drink so, so look good. It look good with some cocaine. Too. I'm like, I just feel like you should not try to tempt or uh, addicts with drugs or alcohol, but I'm gonna leave that be. So he like, look, I just don't like seeing you like this. I don't like seeing you drinking too much or whatever, and just find find flying off the handle. And she was waiting for this 
to just just to lean into him and say, fuck you, I don't care, you talk too much shit about me, whatever you call me, alcoholic, fuck you all day, all night. And his thing is, I care about you, okay? And I just want to see you better. And I, I do think you drink a little bit too much and you have these, these situations or whatever. I had a moment at JoJo's party. So what? And he's saying, and you won't, you don't like seeing me human? Okay. But I think I, I'm human. I look like you sound drunk now. You're supposed to be at work. Okay. Are you at work? Or are you at the bar? The fact that she had a huge box. She had a huge bottle of liquor just sitting there. I'm like, this bitch here. It just seems to me. You don't know what I live through. He said, you, no one else who, no one else who, who something to me think I'm a drunk. I'm like, they may be drunks too. So they may not want to tell you about your alcohol problem. Okay. And I'm like, you wanted to help JoJo. Why do you have an issue with him? Not JoJo, not JoJo, Boogie. You helped Boogie get sober. Why are you upset that he now, wants to help you too. Some people love pointing out other people's flaws and they do not want anyone telling them what their issues are either. And that to me is what Brianna is doing. She does not want anyone to tell her anything that she may need to fix, change, or stop doing. She don't want anyone to say any of that to her. Even if it's someone who she did the exact same thing to. And Boogie is better now. So I'm like, sitting there and drinking his face to me was rude. To me, okay? And so his thing was, like, I know how you are very strong. I know that. And I love that for you, that you are a strong, strong person. You have told me plenty of things of what you lived through. Now, I, I love you for that. And I support you in your, you know, being strong or whatever. But I would love to see you sober. Because I feel like that would you would benefit from it. You know what? You hurt my soul. You know what I'm saying? Get out, okay? But all you know, look, get out. And I was like, what? And she did call security. I was like, what? And he like, wow, okay, so, oh, security, okay. And so, so in case security came in or whatever, he like, oh, okay, you call security on me. But he does leave, but he's still like shocked at what she did. He like, you know what? For me, I'm done with her. I spoke my piece. I told her how I feel, but her calling security on me was complete and utter. Bull shit. I was her piece. I was like, girl, like I said, Brianna is a functioning alcoholic. Period. Okay. Um, that was the whole episode. They show as a little bit. She met with her mama. We know, you know, uh JoJo wife told her she pregnant. She broke up with that with the, with the boxer dude. She wants to do a swimsuit calendar. She wants to involve Vanessa. She gonna have it in Miami. Boom, pow, pow. That was it. Wasn't nothing more than that. Anyway, let me go. That wrong button. Let me go. Boom. <laughs> right here. Uh, have a good night. I will talk to y'all later on. Peace out.